In this tutorial you will learn how to export your flyer. First I would like to make some changes. I select my casino, go over here and select my fill tool. With the fill tool selected, click and drag, I add on my gradient. Select this part up here, drag it over to the color you like. I would like to have a purple to the left. Select it with the eyedropper. Go over here and all you have to do is Hit OK right next to the eyedropper. Then I go into that part and I would like to have a bright red here. Again, select my eyedropper, go over to the red and confirm it to the right. Now I would like to maybe alter the red a bit. It's a bit too bright for me. I can do this right away here. If I would like to change the direction of the gradient, that's possible as well. Now I would like to alter the text. Separate the words a bit. Shift, Enter, and move that down. Shift, Enter at any time. Let's say you would like to have a different change. Let's say you would like to move hotels down. Go before hotels, Shift, Enter, move the word down. Right now I have left aligned, centered, justified left would be another possibility, but I think I stay with left aligned. The next thing that I would like to do is add on another frame text for the image source. Go in here and I say illustration by Michael Allen Reed to give credit to the illustrator. Select my text and go down to maybe 8 point. With my move tool selected, I can move it into the right place. And right over here, when I go to the corner, I have these arrows. With the shift key selected, I can make a perfect alignment straight up here. Another possibility, by the way, is also select the text, move it over here, make sure it's on top in your layers panel, it is, and make the font white. Select the text, go in here, white. Then I go under File, Export, and look at all these possibilities up here. I can have a PNG for the internet, JPEG for the internet, GIF for the internet, I can export as a TIFF, it would rasterize the file. I could export as a PSD, I would also rasterize the file. Or I could make a PDF for print or other options. I can make an SVG, scalable vector graphic, EPS, or these I don't use myself, EXR, HDR and TGA. Let's make a PDF for the printer. It already suggests PDF for print, 300 dpi, perfect for the printer. Very important that I select include bleed since my image is going over the border. I can say area hold document, preview export when complete. Good choice. I can also go in here and say more. With more I can alter the PDF the way I want. Let's say any image going over 375 will be downsampled. I personally leave it the way it is. DPI 300 for the printer is perfect. If you would like to have JPEG compression do that but I personally take it off. Then you can choose which PDF you would like to have it compatible with. Now let's look into the color space. Let's say the printer would like to have a print PDF in SMIC. You can alter that here. The original is sRGB, that's correct, but you can go in here and say convert it into SMIC. Right below you can select the color profile. For example, Fogra 39, Euroscale, Coated, or uncoded. I like ISO-coded V2300 ECI for my printer. You can embed the color profile. You can convert image color spaces if needed. You can include hyperlinks if needed. But I definitely include the bleed and I include the printer marks so the printer knows where to crop the image. It depends on the printer if you need to include the color bars or not, certain printers don't like it, ask your printer. I'll leave it for right now so you can see what happens. And also very important, embed your fonts. Then I hit export and see what happens. I call this print flyer on my desktop, hit save. Now let's open the PDF. You should start Acrobat or double click on the PDF and it should open right away. Here is my PDF as you can see. It can go 100% or a little bit smaller. It has the name of the document. It has the crop marks. 
It has the registration marks on all four sides. It has a 3 mm bleed and my gradient looks fine. It even has the color bars down here. Just don't forget before you send a PDF to the printer, make sure you call your printer first to make sure to use the correct color profile and also to select the correct crop marks and ask him if you would like to have the color bars below or not. See you again soon for the next tutorial.